Okay, today in our circuit bread practical video, we are going to talk about how to swap out a breaker. Now, first things first, we should turn off the electric incoming to this panel. And uh, that's just so you don't hurt yourself. But at the same time, I have seen people swap out breakers without actually turning it off. And that made me nervous, so please don't do that. And also, since we did turn off the electricity, it is kind of dark in here and we had to keep the door open so you might get some noise, so I am sorry about that. So first things first, let's jump back into our panel. So if you watched any of the other uh, practical videos with the panel, you should understand what's going on here, but I'm gonna go over it again just really quick so you do know what's going on. So we have the power coming in, and since this is a 240 volt panel, we have our two powers coming in, and you can see them attached right there, and they're going down these rails, and then we have our neutral bar right here. So when you are changing out a circuit breaker, it's actually pretty simple. You can just pop it on and off. It, they do like to be a little bit resistant, which is good because you want them to be stuck in there pretty good. You don't want them to be too wiggly, but they usually just go in and they clip in and then you push in. And then sometimes, and I don't know if this is recommended or not, but sometimes if it's being really stiff, I've actually like used the butt of my screwdriver to kind of tap gently to push it in. Hopefully you don't have to do that. And if you do that, just be careful you don't break anything. Now, as we're looking at this, you will notice on these other circuit breakers, this one's literally here just to fill up open spot on this panel. So for each spot right there, you have to pull one of these things out. And instead of just getting a filler to go right in there, I had an extra circuit breaker. So I just put that in, even though it's not connected to anything. You are not allowed to have open spots in here. So if you do snap one out, they sell them at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and you have to put that in or else your inspector will not be happy with you. So going back to the circuit breaker itself, you'll notice on these that we only have the hot wires coming in to the base and we don't have anything else. That's because as the wiring is coming in, and this is THHN, we only worry about that. On these, these aren't GFCI or AFCI protected, so you don't need any of that the neutrals that come in the grounds can just be run to these bars. So again, you've got your neutral bar right here and your ground bar over here. And frankly, other than putting them in a place where it might make sense for you to have some sort of association, it really doesn't matter where you put it in the bar. It's wherever it is most convenient for you. So I have found that most of the time it's easiest to put in your circuit breaker, you've run your wire, you measure it out and give yourself lots of, um, lots of room. Like some of these, some of this was done by an electrician, some of this was done by me. And some of these, I did these too short. I should have had them come out and this is not very clean. This is actually one of the first panels I worked on. Um, but you wanna give yourself plenty of space so that you can uh, put it in as necessary. And you don't wanna do it so tight that you're worried you're gonna snap the plastic of the circuit breakers, but it should be snug. So almost every time I do it, I give it a nice little tug like that to make sure it's actually in and then give it a visual inspection to make sure that there's actually enough touching. So that's, that's really it. If you're installing a new one, again, you stick it in the circuit breaker and it's just a pop in, pop out. And uh, oh, one other important thing that I did not realize before this, this is a Square D home line panel and it only accepts Square D home line circuit breakers. So if you think, oh, hey, the Siemens or the GE is cheaper, you got to match it with your panel or it's not going to work, which can be really frustrating. And they obviously did that on purpose. And because this was the first panel we had and the electrician put in Square D, now our entire house is Square D because, well, he made that decision for us. But that's it. You stick it in, you make sure that your hot wire is long enough and you trim it and you stick it in there and tighten it up. Make sure your neutral is going to either neutral bar and then make sure you're properly grounded to the back. And once you are all done, you should just be able to take your panel, stick it back in. Might need to wiggle it a little bit so that it all fits in properly. And you take your screws, stick them in and you are done. You can flip that puppy on and you're good to go. So if you have a breaker that is constantly popping on you and you can tell it's not actually because you have too much of a load on, it's like just getting old and they get loose sometimes, it's really easy to swap these out. And uh, if you need to expand and you have some space and you're like, ah, I need an extra circuit and somebody didn't put an extra breaker in for you, that's how you put it in. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, give the video a like, subscribe to our channel and all that sort of stuff. We should be wrapping up these um, practical tutorials really quick and getting back into the electrical engineering and electronics and circuit design and all that sort of stuff that really, really excites us. We're really, really looking forward to that and hope you can join us. 
have a great day.